Welcome to Orange County's Kitchen. I'm Celeste White and I'm here today with Jamila Adams and we are going to talk about healthy fats. Hi Jamila. Hi Celeste. Tell me, are, there, are fats important for your body? Fats are very important for our body. Um, number one, they, have, they offer a great source of energy. And in addition to that, they help us absorb vitamins A, D, E, and K. Yes, um, also they play a role in the production of certain hormones such as our sex hormones. And then also too, um, without fats, cooking, you know we won't get that depth of flavor that we need or sometimes that coloring that it can provide. So fats do play a role, but we can't get too much of them. We can't have too much of them. How much really should a person be eating a day? About um, 20 to 35 percent, no more than that, of their calories should come from fat. So it should come from fats. Mm -hmm. Now I'm guessing there's more healthier fats and not as healthy fats. Is I'm, that true? I'm glad you brought that up. Yes, there are. Um, we're going to start over here. These are our solid fats, mm -hmm. um, and they are really two types. You have our saturated fats that are mainly coming from your animal products. You see all of that marbling in that meat? Mm -hmm. Gives it that great flavor. However, these types of fats contribute to plaque formation or clotting of the um, arteries. Mm, that's um, bad. Yes, so that would be your steak there, your hard cheeses, mm -hmm. your butter. Um, there's another type of solid fat. It's called trans fats. Mm -hmm. And those are mostly found in things such as shortening or margarine, some processed foods as well. Um, these types of fats are even more detrimental than the saturated fats. Mm -hmm. Not only do they increase the bad cholesterol, they decrease our good cholesterol too. So they provide like that double whammy. Double bad. Yeah, double bad whammy. Well, let's talk about the good ones then. Okay. <laughs> Moving on down the line. I see a lot of things here that I like. Mm -hmm. Most of your um, vegetable oils, um, they t these are unsaturated fats, and these are liquids at room temperature. Mm -hmm. So um, that's how you, one way to distinguish these types from our saturated types. But in addition to liquid oils, such as olive, canola, mm -hmm. sunflower, etc., you've got other plant foods that also are, have the great fat in them, such as the avocado, nuts love and them. seeds. Love them. Mm -hmm. Love almonds, love all nuts. All of those. And all of those are healthy fats. All and, of those but are even though so, we fats. still have to watch it because they're high in calories. Yes, ma'am. Um, just because they're healthy for our mm -hmm. hearts, that doesn't mean that they're healthy for our waistlines because <laughs> they still provide the same amount of calories as do the saturated fat. So we're going to make a recipe today using a healthy fat which is the salmon, correct? Mm -hmm. Our salmon um, and other items that you see here, they mm -hmm. are rich in something called mm -hmm. omega-3s. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've heard of those. I have. Well, these um, help in regards to um, keeping our blood thin, so they kind of reduce our risk for clotting. Mm -hmm. They help in regulating blood pressure. And then um, they um, provide us with the nice healthy fats. These are heart healthy fats. So. Sure. Our recipe today is salmon in foil, correct? Salmon in foil. It's mm -hmm. a very simple recipe. It's going to use your omega-3s mm -hmm. and also a little bit of your monounsaturated or your olive oils. Okay, so mm -hmm. we're, we're uh, the foil is our baking utensil. Uh, the foil so, is our baking and utensil. And this is fresh salmon. Uh huh. And but you could use frozen. You could use frozen. Mm -hmm. You want to season it how you want to. Okay, so I don't use too much salt and pepper, but I'll put a little bit of salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then what? Awesome. And then what you want to do is in this mixing bowl, you want to mm -hmm. dump in your prepared salsa. Okay, this that. is salsa that mm -hmm. you get either out of a jar or mm -hmm. you can make it or you can make if you're it ambitious. Your okay. I like to add a little bit of tomato, tomato. just for texture. Okay. We want to season that up a little bit with yes. thyme and oregano. Thyme and oregano, and you can use fresh herbs. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I just mix, mix all this together. All Boy, up. that looks good, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then I'm going to just spoon it over the salmon. Spoon it over the salmon, and it's going to bake in with it. How much do I put on? Um, as much as you like. Mm, I'll put a lot on because I like it. Okay. All right, and then last but not least, squeeze a little lemon. Squeeze a little bit of lemon, which or a I lot. think it always goes good with any <laughs> fish. Yeah, I'll use a lot. I like lemon. All right, and then all you do, what you would just wrap it up. Mm -hmm. Would I wrap it mm -hmm. tightly? Tightly. Okay. 
fold it over, mm -hmm. and then you stick it in the oven. And what does it bake at? It bakes at 400 uh, for about 20 to 25 minutes. 20 to 25 minutes. Yes. With and then... seafood, it's important, though, that it reaches a minimal internal temperature of at least 145 degrees. Well, Jamila, this looks really tasty, and I want to thank you for telling us about healthy fats. Yes, anytime. Healthy fats are good for your body, and we will see you next time in Orange County's Kitchen. Awesome.